I went out last night and I got Parker three new dog toys because I'm that mom. One of them is this like dragon. Parker has many dragon toys. Not necessarily because Parker loves dragons, but probably because I do. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Ashley and today I'm going to be doing an Owl Crate unboxing. It has been a long time since I've done both that intro and an unboxing video. So I'm really excited about this video. If you can hear Parker in the background making like growly noises, she's not angry. She just like talks to her toys that way and she's playing with this dragon, so. And I'm not gonna take the dragon away from her to film, so let's do this. Okay, so I've already like undid the, the seal on this so that we can unbox it, but I haven't opened it yet. So I will do it so that you guys can see the inside before me. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. This month's theme is Hidden Worlds. As someone with a dog, this is just like, always scary because the minute I drop even one piece Parker loses it. Okay so first we have this pin. It has like an owl on it. I actually really like this pin. I don't always love the pins that come in owl crates. Sometimes I find that I would never use them but this one I like a lot. The next thing is a candle from Books on Candles and it's called Through the Wardrobe. Clearly a Narnia reference and it's handcrafted and it's a soy candle. Oh, I really like this. I'm trying to figure out what the flavor is. The flavor. What the scent is. But it smells like clean. I don't know how else to describe that. But I really like candles that just like have a really, really light, like clean scent. I really like this one a lot. This is going to be perfect for when I take a bath and I want a candle because sometimes when I take a bath, I don't want to light most of my candles because they're like really strong smelling and I already have a bath bomb that smells, so. The next thing in here is this which I saw when I opened it, and I'm so excited. This is definitely a Risa Riddell, um, Radil, how do you pronounce her name? Anyways, um, it's definitely one of her designs, and it is also a little pouch. And I really like these little pouches. I know some friends who don't like them because they just never use them, but I use these things for everything. It says, we, we dreamed together of the world remade. I don't know what quote this is from, but it's like kind of like a waterproof feeling material and the inside is all black. I use these for everything. I put pens in them, lipstick, makeup, like knickknacky things, like everything. I use these all the time. I have so many of them. So this is actually really, really exciting because this is gonna be a useful item from this crate. The next thing I see is this like pouch, this like owl crate pouch. Ooh, in it is this necklace that looks like a key, which is really cool. I'm gonna open this to see. Are you interested, Parker? Are you interested in what's going on? I quite like it. Very Hidden Worlds theme. Definitely on point with the theme this time. Parker, what you doing? Do you like the key? No eating, please. No bites. No bites. Good girl. Good girl. You can give kisses, no bites though, okay? I feel like this is gonna be one of the best Owl Crate months I've ever had. Ooh, the cover, sorry, I just saw the book and the cover is very different from the original cover and it looks really amazing. This is huge, what is this? What, what is this? It's huge guys, like look. <laughs> I don't even, okay, hold on. I'm gonna figure out what this is, hold on. It says, books, fall open, you fall in. Anyways, that is what it looks like. It's definitely a tapestry. It's huge and very different from anything they've ever done before. Next there is this like little Alice in Wonderland uh, sticker. I quite like normally all of the stickers that Owl Crate includes. The Hagrid sticker, sticker from a few months ago is on my laptop, like it's there forever. I love it so much. Uh, this one's really cute. It's very animated and I'm not sure if I like Love it enough to put it on my laptop, but it is very cute. Dun, 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 dun. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I really like this cover. It's one of the best covers I've seen in a very long time in YA. I really, really like it. I think I potentially like the black cover better, but I kind of like the green as well. It's very shiny. The only thing with this book is I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about it. A lot of booktubers and bloggers that I really respect and I tend to agree with their opinions on things 
really disliked this book. All that is to say that I don't know when I'm going to pick this up. So if you've read it, make sure to comment down below and let me know what your thoughts were on it because I'm kind of indecisive on whether or not I plan to read this one. But for those of you who want, oh my goodness, look at these end pages. Ah, they're so pretty. Oh my god. For those of you who want to know, I'll read the synopsis out. I've never read the synopsis of this book, so I can't give you a concise synopsis, so I'll just read it out for you. 17-year-old Alice Proserpine and her mother have spent most of Alice's life on the road, always a step ahead of the uncanny bad luck biting at their heels. But when Alice's grandmother, the reclusive author of a book of pitch-dark fairy tales, dies alone on her estate, the Hazelwood, Alice learns how bad her luck can really get. Her mother is stolen away by a figure who claims to have come from the cruel supernatural world where her grandmother's stories are set. Alice's only lead is the message her mother left behind. Stay away from the Hazelwood. There is more synopsis to this, but truthfully, I like to go into books not knowing much, and that is definitely enough for me, so hopefully that is enough for you. For those of you who don't know, I am subscribed to Owlcrate. I don't have an affiliate link. I'm not a rep for them. I just really, really love them. So I'm subscribed every month. I get an Owlcrate every month. I just don't always film an unboxing. If you want to see me film Owlcrate unboxings or other unboxings more often, just let me know in the comments down below. I do sometimes unbox them on my Instagram story. So if you follow me on Instagram, I sometimes unbox things there, so that's also a thing that you could do. My Instagram handle and my Twitter handle are always linked down below if you want to check those out. The theme of the next month's box is Across the Galaxy, and the sneak peek is that I'm going to receive a candle from Wiccan Fable. Very exciting. If you guys want to check out Owl Crate, I will leave them linked down below. Again, I am not currently an affiliate or a rep or anything. I don't have a discount code, unfortunately, and I will not be paid at all if you go through the link and purchase from Owlcrate. Maybe in the future that will change. Maybe I will become an affiliate. Who knows? But as of right now, I am not so just so you are aware. Okay, that's pretty much everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Also, today is the first day that I am no longer part of the YouTube partner program, which means I am no longer monetized, which is fine, except for that I feel like the algorithm, which already hates me, will hate me even more now that I don't make it any money. So if you like my videos, make sure to click the little like bell thing that's, hi Parker, make sure to link the, click the little bell that is down below because that means that you'll get notified every time I post a video like you'll get a little notification on your phone or whatever uh, that I've posted a video because chances are you might not see it in your sub feed otherwise so that would be greatly appreciated and other than that I will see you guys soon with another video happy reading bye do you want to say bye well that's not a nice way to say bye bye everyone